James, my man. <laughs> I want you to meet my main squeeze, Molly Dodd. Pleased to meet you. Uh, mm. I just do it the old-fashioned way. Well, the old-fashioned way is good, too. Uh, you sure got yourself one fine, foxy lady. Well, that's me, the ultimate fox. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you like to get down with a bit of the bubbly, hmm? Is it that? Oh, uh, how do you mean, damn? I mean that the champagne is fresh. Ah, oh, oh, well, <laughs> so long as it's fresh. I hate stale champagne. So how you been keeping yourself, my brother? Hey, you know how it is, brother. Working for the man. <laughs> Be cool. you to meet my first lady, Molly Dye. Ooh, look at you, sister. A stretch limo in a city full of yellow cats. Well, thank you. I think. So what's happening, brother? Drinking wine and feeling fine when I ain't working for the man. Uh, now, I hate to network at a party, but do you have a, a number or an address for this man that everybody seems to work for? Because I could really use a job. You know, I really dig you, Molly. But sometimes you can be just so pale. I know. I'm sorry. I'll work on it. I'll go to one of those salons. Um, let's dance. Uh, you know, my hands are kind of full. What you got there, girl? Oh, cheese? I thought it was a potluck. Yeah, James, didn't you bring the jello mold? Oh, no, brother. I'm in charge of the casserole. <laughs> uh, I... Nate, where's your mother? I'm going to meet her. Hey, Mom. Molly Dodd here wants to meet you. She even brought you a, a cheese log. Hmm. Gee, Mrs. Hawthorne, I'm so pleased to meet you. Likewise, I'm sure. I, you know, you're just a wonderful singer, vocalistically, I mean. Uh, yeah, and I know that because my husband, uh, my ex-husband, my very ex-husband, um, although, you know, we do get along very well now that we're not married. Anyway, he used to have, still does have, in fact, a band in front of which I would sometimes sing. You don't say. But does this band look like a band in front of which you could sing right now? Me? Come on, Molly. No, no. Hey, hey, everybody. Listen, uh, I want you to welcome my special lady here, Molly Dodd. She wants to really get down for us. No, see, I'm far too embarrassed to get really down. Um. Hey, Molly. Hello, Molly. Hey, Molly. This is just excellent, Mrs. Hawthorne. What exactly do you call it? We call it roast beef. Yes. Oh, well, it has such an unusual taste. Hey, what is it? Did you... Did you put tarragon in the sauce? I know that you can't eat tarragon, honey. Well, then it's cumin. It's got to be cumin. I know all about you and cumin, baby. I could write a book about you and cumin. I know what it is. Wait. It's it's turmeric, isn't it? Bingo! It's turmeric, isn't it? Since when was turmeric a problem? Just very recent. I I I just broke out one night and I figured it had to be the, the turmeric. Damn. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll be fine. As long as my throat doesn't close up. Oh, I should have known. Let me add turmeric to the list. You poor baby. <sighs> Are you okay? 
fine. My face is all puffy. No, you're okay. Am I okay? You're fine. You're wonderful. She likes you. Really? All right, here you go, sweetie. I just wonder when you're going to find someone to take care of you the way I do. Well, maybe one of these days I might get lucky. Well, you'd better hurry up because I'm not going to live forever. Relax, Mother. I've got plenty of time. You think you have time, mister? You're 39 years old. One of these mornings, you're going to wake up and wonder what happened to your life. You know, you get on great with my mother, Mrs. Hawthorne. Is that right? Well, yes, as she's always worrying about me getting older and all that. Still single. Well, if you're going to share your life with someone, it just seems that your chances are better if you both have similar interests. Oh, really? Ah, well, um, I think what your mother means is that, uh, if we had nothing in common, it would be a problem. Like, if you were a doctor and I was, uh, a go-go dancer. Well, no, no, that's not a very good example. Uh, say I was a forest ranger and you worked for a lumber company, so I was busy protecting the forest while your actual livelihood depended upon just cutting down the trees. That might be the kind of situation that your mother was talking about, or, um... You were a carpenter and I was... That's exactly what I was talking about. You've got to have something in common. Of course, just being friends is something else again. And I hope that Nate will bring you over to dinner often. I hope so too, Mrs. Hawthorne. There is peach cobbler for dessert and we will have to split it because Nate is allergic. Twist my arm. Do you cook? Not peach cobbler. <laughs> Nate is very difficult to cook for. 